Okay, welcome to Dave's Cooking Show. And for you today, we have beef and mac. It's a really easy thing to do in a heavy bottom pot. You want to add a tablespoon of olive oil and about one pound of ground beef. All right, and basically you just want to chop this up and brown the beef. Once the beef is browned, uh, you want to drain it into a colander and leave it aside. However, before you do that, while it's still cooking, you want to add the seasoning mix, which is a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then, yeah, you just want to cook this till it's done. It's getting pretty close to, to there right now. Okay, got our beef drained. Now you want to deglaze with a little bit of red wine, somewhere between a quarter and a half a cup. And basically, you just want to let this reduce by about half. And now you want to add in a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I butchered that. I apologize. And then you want to add two 24-ounce cans of tomato sauce. And also, it's a good idea to add just a pinch of sugar. Not a much, but a half a teaspoon just to take kind of the tinniness off. And then you just want to uh, stir these together. And I don't know if I had the camera on when I added it, but add about three or four cloves of minced garlic as well. And then you just want to let this uh, kind of come together and let it, uh, I'd say let it, let it combine for about five minutes before we add the final ingredient. And then you're going to want to add two cups of beef broth. And then stir, of course, to combine. And then you're going to want to let this simmer for a while. I let mine go about hour, hour and a half, I think. Basically, you want to stir this till, or simmer this until you get to reduce it down to the consistency that you want. Um, so, yeah. Let's zip ahead in time about 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, as you can see, we're simmering away here. We're about, I'd say about halfway through the process and it's time to add the burger back. Give this a stir around and then just keep simmering away again until the desired consistency is reached. Again, about 10 minutes before um, doing so, you wanna cook your mac or however many minutes uh, your package directions say. But again, as I always say, take a minute off of uh, the recommended cooking time. Because again, it's still cooking when you take it out of the water. Okay, pretty much got the consistency for the sauce that I'm looking for. So now it's time to add uh, the mac. I decided uh, to go with shells for this. But you can certainly just do straight up elbow macaroni if you wish or penne if you prefer it's up to you and uh at this point i would recommend killing the heat i'm gonna give this a quick stir around but i am gonna let this kind of sit and let everything get uh to know each other for roughly about 90 seconds two minutes and then we'll be ready to serve again that's optional you could serve it right now but again i like Kind of the starch on the pasta to kind of mix in with the uh, tomato sauce a little bit. All right. Okay, plating is really simple. What you want to do is you want to grab a bowl and ladle yourself up a portion. Okay, now this is optional, but I just decided to top it off with a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, you certainly could have done Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano, any cheese you like. I just decided to go with mozzarella. And then, of course, some freshly ground black pepper. And that's it. Beef and mac. 
done.